today i'll also be showing you one of our headpieces recently made and i will also be making it known to you that every friday and sunday we will either be showing a full tutorial video on how to make a complete hat or we'll just show you clips techniques on how to do things in hat making so please anytime you see our videos would like to really participate and also you can actually really participate in this video in this um, channel by bringing us suggestions if you want to learn something why don't you just tell us okay let us have teach us how to make this and if it's within our budget we'll actually take the video and we'll upload this today we'll be talking about or we'll be treating how to make this fascinator and i hope you will like it so stay with us like and share this channel and you will not regret it so you can see how it's gorgeous it's beautiful and um uh, I would love you to make one for yourself or I would love you to make one by yourself so learn how to make this hat and I promise you the sky will be your starting point as a medium to do this lovely fascinator we need a rubber wire as this a wool I still have some warm, some around, so I'll be using that uh, decorating piece. Then this crinoline, a candle gum gun, a U gum, a scissors. So we'll start. Now I'll be fixing my needle and thread. I wouldn't call this thread, but the wool. Now for me to make the mouth a bit straight. I had to use a little gum at a tip. So now I'll be fixing this and um, <clears throat> thread it. Okay, now I'll be stitching this. I'll be stitching the rubber wire on the crinoline so now the next is just squeeze up this end add a u-gum then knot it with the wool or i call it thread they are all threads so after doing this you just leave out the remaining thread then get your needle and thread and st start stitching the particular stitch i used is uh the overlapping stitchy stitching so here you overlap the knot overlap knot overlap knot that was what i did to achieve that weaved hem of the fascinator so actually that was the main thing about this then the next is just curve and embellish your fascinator so just keep watching and enjoy the video So now I'm done with the two two layers and uh, I'll be showing you how I actually did the final knotting so you get to know how to knot it up when you are done with your stitching.
now i'm done with the stitching so it's now for me to just squeeze up the crinoline from the threaded area my first one i couldn't i stitched on the threaded part so but this one i didn't i was very con conscious of myself so i don't stitch on the the threaded part so that was why i could able to squeeze this other end but the other one i'll have to sew through to get the curvy part of it so as it is now we are done with it and then um, the next is just trying to knot the each end of the screen only done with the two layers now we'll be moving to how to form the loops of this fascinator so to form loops is something easy just watch how I did it and that's just it and um, I can actually going to be creating like six to seven loops or thereabout maybe at most eight or nine I didn't count them but that was what it is so just to make sure I fill up the space and as a result embellish the fascinator so that's just the main It's advisable to uh, also stitch if you are applying just gum. Please always stitch up, except if that thing you're stitching up or you're gumming to your fascinator or your heart can't be stitched onto. So just if it's just to stitch, you can stitch alone. But if you want to apply gum, always stitch. So just just it, and um, it can also make your product last and um, durable too you understand last and durable is almost the same
so as you can see i'm done with this one all i need now to do is just to attach the headband and um if you don't know how to attach your headband or your fascinator this is an opportunity and i also did uh, a back view of this actually by putting a flower so that when they see you from behind it looks very appealing it looks very beautiful and from the front it also looks very beautiful always consider that to why you're making your fascinator so please subscribe if you haven't it won't take you anything just press that button and uh, the lord will be with you thank you